Hello, this is Gio, and hey, today we got another Dremel test for you, and what we'll be testing out today is this Dremel Easy Drum uh, Mandrel. So, uh, many of you have probably used these little, um, kind of like belt sanders um, that attach to the end of your, let me open this up a little bit, that open that attach to the end of your Dremels like that and then when this spins you can kind of sand it's like a mini drum sander well in this case if I could find my little tool here you need a little screwdriver to kind of um, screw this thing in and out to take out this little belt sander sort of focus on the traditional um, mandrel it, it has a screw right in front and you would just kind of unscrew that and it kind of loosens the drum so you could pull out the little belt sander just like this and you could actually replace these little uh, rubber things but as you if you notice there's a little bit of a washer right here and as you tighten this up it actually causes this washer to push down there's another washer on the other end here and this uh, little rubber piece kind of comp uh, kind of compresses and extends and that is what holds the little belt uh, sander in place. And these sanders do come in various sizes. This is a one half inch um, mandrel here. here. This is a, I believe a quarter inch um, sander and mandrel here. It also comes in I think three eighths inch um, diameters as well. Okay, but this is supposed to be an easy drum. So instead of uh, unscrewing it in and out, which can be time consuming, this one apparently you just kind of push in and out. There's a little bit of a direction here and you just kind of push it in and out and you can uh, replace these little sanders uh, really easy. So we'll go ahead and open this up and try this out. Okay, so here it is out of the package. I'm just gonna rip off this little tag. There's really no need for it. Put that aside and uh, this particular kit let's uh, let's see this would be the easy uh, 407 SA so that's the package this came in and you can purchase this at your hardware store or on uh, online and it does come with a kind of coarse um, sanding belt okay so it's my understanding you just kind of pop this thing out but we'll get it in the Dremel first we'll loosen this up get the bit in there, use our little tool here, tighten this up, and then um, you just either kind of pull it like this, I'm going to kind of pop it like this and see if it just pops up, and there it goes like that, and sure enough, the little uh, sanding belt's loose, you can lift that up and you can kind of see how it looks, and um, my understanding is you just pop it back down once you get your sander back on, let's try to get this in like that and then you just push it back down and it holds it in place and it is kind of holding it in place really well so let's let's go ahead and pop this back up take this off and take a closer look at this so when I push this again this this rubber should expand a little bit and it kind of does it's, it's imprecise I mean imperceptible but these little plastic bits kind of expand and so that's kind of how it works. You can kind of see the, the bottom, these kind of expand out. And as you pop it in, they uh, go ahead and close up like that. So when you push it back down, they just expand out and hold uh, the bit in place. All right, so I think it kind of works really well. It, it's pretty easy to take them on and off. You don't have to use your screwdriver. I'm not sure, it's a little plastic. I'm not sure how well in terms of durability it will last. Uh, it should last a little while, but uh, I don't know if you have dealt with these. Maybe you could put a comment down and tell me how they uh, handle over time. Now, um, now this is a one half inch uh, mandrel. Now, you know, the like, the quarter inch and the three eighths inch. I couldn't find those on the market. You still have to kind of uh, get the old versions and unscrew them like that. Um, again, uh, give me a comment if you have seen the easy type in the smaller bits. But right now, all I could seem to find are the half bit sizes. So, uh, seems to work. And I hope this helps you out. I will see you next time. Bye bye.